Your referee when the action begins, Mr. Phil Cassidy. Wow, what an introduction by Reese Giles. Hard to believe he's on debut on the mic here tonight, Blake Richardson, but I tell you what, Fight don't right. blink as you Fight said, Blake. Right. Alfred Stoddard in the blue, Sam Dobb in the red corner, and this is expected from Slam and Sam. Here comes aggression. Both men knew what this fight was going to bring. So let's see how we go. Alfred Stoddart said no touch of gloves to commence the action here tonight. Let's get to business. And business. Oh, the level changes of Slam and Sam. Oh, the aggression. I can't believe. Well, he's a hard. The pace is coming forward. He's a fast starter, and it's a big storm. He brings down goes the maker. What happened here? A little time out here. I'm not oh, sure wow. what that was for, but... Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Well, listen, in, in, the, in the violent, in the violent uh, onslaught that ensued, I couldn't see anything that happened, but uh, I have no doubt that it did. There was 400 strikes in under, under 20 seconds. Talking to Sam's head coach, Ashley Buck, representing yeah. iFight Fit. He is the head coach out there in Bundle. He says it's been a long wait for Slam and Sam to return to the cage. Good. But what a challenge he has in front of him, the maker yeah, proving to be a tough task up, thus far. Time on, let's go! This is a great opportunity to reset the momentum. That southpaw jab of Stoddart. And it's that constant pressure. All oh, the knees Sam from the Burns. maker. He's got to watch those knees wow. in the time clinch. It's like a fitness class, they're getting up there so quick. Oh, well, he's, oh, oh. he's landing flush there, is he? It's oh, the maker. He's a couple of hooks and more knees. Well, this was expected. The man from Straight Blast Gym in Sydney doing all of his work under head coach Hinato Subotic. Doing a good job at defending those takedowns thus far, but it's Slam and Sam in a dominant position. Blake, go ahead. He's doing a great job of controlling that wrist there and, and preventing Sam from getting in on the hips and locking those hands and attacking anything to bring him down to the canvas. Beautiful, aggressive sit out there. And I've got to say, Sam's just got to watch as he comes in for these check hooks of the maker. He's almost found the mark a few times. Oh, the big flying knee just to throw an extra worry into the mix as if there wasn't already enough. To the body for the maker now, you can see a bit of clarity coming from Sam Dobb. He certainly earned the respect of Alfred Stoddart. Yes. And again, he's getting caught with those knees on the inside, Blake. Well, it's a beautiful decision. My goodness, he's relentless. You think he was hitting pads in there? And they'll sap the dra they'll, they will sap the gas tank. I can't even talk. I'm so sorry. I feel like I've been <laughs> feel like I've been needing the body. Totally understandable, Blake. They will tax the gas tank and they will take the aggression out of most men. There's a few hundred knees to the body. And there's some blood in the mouth of Slam and Sam. We've certainly made some improvements since his last outing against Darcy Vendy. A tough pill to swallow on debut for the maker, but he's looking for his first win here tonight. And Sam Same now Sam. moving backwards as Alfred pressures. He's in orthodox, it's just a subtle uh, stance, which is... Oh, this go-to knees are just a problem. Nice. Rear uppercut almost lands. And lands there coming in. Hard body kick there, look like it got through. Oh, and these knees have been the go-to for the maker. And they've been money all night. Expect some big shots on this break. Like an elbow there from Slam and Sam. Oh, that body kick. Big shots by Sam, a nice rear uppercut. Lands for the maker. Wow, beautiful little slip there, the hooks, but every time we clinch, it ends up being Knee City Population Sam Dobb. My goodness, this is an outrageous pace from the big boys here in this first round. 50-50 against the cage. Sam's looking to control the wrists and the head. And try and slip out the side. It's a big knee from Slam and Sam yes, to the body now for Dobb. Oh, and a good return. Oh, 
It was, it was almost, the fight we expected, Blake. It was almost Israel Adesanya Pereira. I thought he was almost playing possum against the fence. Oh, the South for rear. Oh, oh, a few knees in his own. The maker going to the head. Those ones. Oh, a nice uppercut by That's Sam. That's a big shot from Slam. And Sam to the body with a knee of his own. We have less than 30 seconds to go. And I can't believe this is still the first round. Oh, Those some are big hard elbows. elbows. Oh. Big elbows from Slam. And Sam, the maker's got to move. The maker's got to oh, move the here. Uppercuts. But down goes Slam. And Sam, first takedown for the maker. What a round. The first takedown is for the maker. Who can believe it? Wowie. Well, it was the first time in the fight that Alfred decided he was going to wrestle. And Sam Dobb did not enjoy that at all. He said, have a couple of these elbows in true Olden Bates style. Replay brought to you by Jitsi Club. And here are these rapid knees. Switch, switch, switch. Not easy to do. Just the go-to for the maker. But let's see what adjustments can be made in the corner of Slam and Sam Dobb. Now they know the game plan. That's a beautiful body shot by Sam. These vicious elbows. Seemingly from that angle, all clean. All beautifully clean shots there. Well, referee Phil Cassidy had no problem with it. The past, present, and future of combat sports lives on UFC Fight Pass. Watch 30 years of combat sports history with the world's largest combat sports library, plus over 25 exclusive combat sports organizations from around the globe with live fights every weekend right here on UFC Fight Pass. And Phil Cassidy having a word to Alfred, not Alfred Stoddart, my apologies, Sam Dobb. Back it up, back it up behind the line. He's no stranger to uh, receiving instruction from the referee as Slam and Sam as we bring in round number two. We find Alfred taking the center. That body kick from Southpaw is just vicious. And more of the same. Oh, nice elbow over the top. A right hand, rather, by Slam and Sam. Oh, my goodness. This is a high paced fight, to say the least, Blake. The amount of body shots that have landed for both men on both sides. If you've ever taken anything of the sort, You'll know how commendable it is to be keeping this pace. Oh, he's looking to attack the neck. Sandor, oh, nice knee there. Those are clean. Southport Sharks crowd getting behind them. Their man slamming Sam. Oh, a little level change from the maker. Stuffed nicely by Slam and Sam. A great return on the feet. The maker looking sharp on the feet here, those knees. I think he must have surpassed at least 100 knees here in this fight. I wouldn't want to be an official counter. We've got a fight on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. These boys, incapable of taking a backward step. Yes, we do, Blake. Understandably, some heavy breathing, finally, from both these gentlemen. You can guarantee once they find separation like this, there'll be some exchanges. Nice elbow over the top by Slam and Sam. To the body for the maker, that rear left hand. Looking to set it up over the top. Slam and Sam needs to stay defensively tied here again. There's that body kick again. Again, it's got to start taking a toll. Oh, big right hand misses. Oh, beautiful. Both men land there. Seemingly more effective on the side of Stoddart. He's marching forward. There's some blood on the face of Sam. Both men breathing heavy. Two and a half minutes to go. He's opened up real wide to that body kick with the high guard. Well, the pace could only be maintained for so long, Tanira. Yeah, indeed it can, Blake. And we're seeing these guys slow down a little bit in round two. Just under two minutes left. Oh, Flying knee by wow. Slam, Slam. 
And I'm seeing a lot of talking on the side of Alfred Stoddart to the referee, just seemingly protesting everything that goes on in the fight. And rightfully so, but you've got to keep, keep the action pressing until the referee pauses the action. Slaughter starting to find his mark here in round yeah. two. He's starting to move forward, T, but just as we say that, a big explosion from Sam Dobb. Well, he's just trying to find his mark, Blake. Yes. He's, got, he's got two paces, cruise control and 100. I would say cruise control and <laughs> bruise control. Bruise control sounds great to me. Stoddart just cutting off the cage here. Oh, there's that body kick now. again. Oh, the hands dropping a little bit on that last one. He's got to get some respect back to Sam Dobb. As we approach 60 seconds to go of round number two, it's been a close round. It has, but you have to say, Blake Alfred Stoddart loosening up around two. Left hook lands for both men. Totally. The optics in the eyes of the judges as you press forward. That body kick again. And a left hand to follow against the cage. Nice inside leg kick for leg kick. Nice stance switch into a lead hook from Sam Dobb. Oh. Every technique these guys exchange, the other guy says, I can do that too. It's... 30 seconds left. They're going one for one here in round two. Lead hook over the top for Stoddart. And after what was the most explosive round we've seen here at Eternal 79, both guys deciding to take a quick breather as we count down the final 10 seconds of round two. When you leave it all out there with that kind of pace, that's the risk you run. We will see a third here at the Southport Sharks. The maker Alfred Stoddart and Slam and Sam putting it on the line for the fans here on the Gold Coast. Well, great back and forth, but this go-to technique from the maker, that body kick from the southpaw stance, it was money. Here's some nice flurries. Ralph would up with some good pressure and a big flying knee out of nowhere from Slam and Sam. And towards the end of that second round, it just seemed to be foot on the gas from Stoddart and Sam trying to find his legs. Corner camp proudly presented by Proper number 12. We'll see you back in Perth next month as we make the trip across the Nullarbor Plain once again for Eternal 80 vacant Eternal Flyaway title to be contested between Anthony Drillage and Frank the Tank Jankowski alongside plenty of action set to go down out west. Tickets on sale now at eternalmma.com. Third and final round here on the Gold Coast. Slam and Sam and the maker Alfred Stoddart. Here we go. Well, energy, any energy left that these gentlemen have in the gas tank, it's got to be used here now in these final five minutes. Nice inside leg kick there. The stand switch is presenting so many different looks. Now he goes high. More pressure now this round from Sam Dobb. Stoddart targeting that lead leg now. Sam just circling off away from that damage. Watch for Slam and Sam to uh, put together a flurry and a combination of sorts. Nice jab on the entry there. And that body kick is coming again. There it is. Hard inside leg kick, and again. Home crowd here on the Gold Coast getting behind their man Slam and Sam, but it's the maker controlling the center of the cage. Yes, and he's just circling into that power kick and that power hand. They'll start up, but a nice flurry there. And you can see going to the body is the maker to set up that. Oh, here we go. High kick, but Sam, he's got an outside trip here. He loses it just. Good head positioning though against the cage. In a better position to avoid these knees. 
I'd like to see him dig a right underhook if he can. Avoid the knees and try and get in close and secure that takedown that he's wanted so desperately this whole fight. Oh, nice little rip to the body in the dirty boxing against the cage. Oh. We're going one for one here yes. on the Gold Coast. Wow. Just continuing to rip. And again, and this fight will come down to who wants it more, Blake? Oh, my goodness. These are right on the liver, too. They love a bit of dirty boxing here at the Southport Sharks. My. My word. Let's just stay here and let's just... Beat the crap out of each other, says these gentlemen. And again, the knees. Oh, big shot on the break from the maker. Oh, my goodness. The head kick lands flush and he eats it. He's on wobbly legs, he's slamming Sam. Well, he's been setting that one up all night, Blake, going to the body and then coming up top. Right, you are, T. Two minutes to go. It's patience on the side of Stoddart. Helpful encouragement as always from the crowd here at Southport Sharks. Well, there's a few fight experts in the crowd. <laughs> and again! Oh, that one's wobbled him! My goodness! What is this man's chin made of? He is made of steel, Blake. He is still standing. Slam and steel, Sam Dog. This is crazy. I don't think a rhinoceros would be on its feet after landing a getting a head kick like that. My God. He's got to get back in the fight, I tell you. Phil Cassidy watching this one very closely. Yes, the optics not, not ideal on the side of Sam Dobb. If he's going to go, he's got to go now. Just over one minute left. Oh, up high again for Stoddart. Slam and Sam has got to go, and he's got to go now, otherwise the maker. Sixty seconds. Oh, and the body again. Will it be to the body? Will it be to the head? You just don't know now. Oh, and a spinny back fist attempt. He's trying to pull it all out of the bag here is Sam Dobb. He needs something special. Can he do it? And I know that when it's been a hard fight like this and you've emptied the tank and you've taken punishment to the head and to the body, it's hard to want to go, but he's got to do something to Sam Dodd. 30 seconds to go. What is keeping this man standing? Stoddart throwing everything in the tank. Well, I'd like to see Stoddart hunt for a finish here. Well, let's wait and see. 20 seconds left. Wow! And it's the maker that does the slamming here at the Southport Sharks. And with 10 seconds left, you'd have to think that it's Alfred Stoddart that will go back home to Sydney. A very happy man. What a performance for the man from SBG. Wow. Understandably extremely high for Alfred Stoddart. He knows he's done enough here tonight to get his first professional win as a mixed martial artist. Well, Jitsi Club replay will tell us what transpired inside the cage for this one. Well, I want to see, like you said, he was setting up this body kick all night from the southpaw stance. And when he eventually went high, it landed beautifully. There it is, he ate it clean. And again, my goodness. Commendable is the chin and heart of Slam and Sam, but it was all Alfred Stoddart through rounds two and three. Well, take nothing away from that man right there, the maker, Alfred Stoddart. What a way to get back here at Eternal 79. And again, Blake, as you said, <laughs> what is Sam Dobb made of? A steel titanium chin, to say the least. He caught two of those flush head kicks with his face. And I can tell you what, right now, Ashley Buck, no doubt will have a few words to say to Sam after this fight, but great sportsmanship shown between both of these guys. It's all smiles after the fight and nothing but respect between the two. We've got some uh, 
back and forth banter with the referee with our sponsors. So, let's we'll see what transpired there. Well, let's wait and see. Until then, Blake Richardson, we have a decision. Here's Reese Giles to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. The judges have scored this bout 30 26, 30 27, and 30 25. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, Alfred the Maker Stoddard! No surprises on the scorecards there. Welcome back to the winner's circle, Alfred the Maker Stoddard. And you can see how much this one means to him. A very, very difficult task to take this one away from the Maker. Here tonight, he's with Blake Richardson. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with an emotional Alfred the Maker Stoddard. My friend, congratulations on your first win as a professional mixed martial artist. This thing's a lot, been a long time coming. We first crossed paths at Eternal 67 back in the day. I've been itching to get back and interview in the cage again, and here we are, brother. Tell me, how are you feeling after a performance like that? Vindicated, man. Vindicated. You don't feel like, like you won, you feel relief. Because you put so much fucking work into a camp. Every time you ask yourself, why am I doing this shit? I have a day job, it pays me pretty well. Fuck am I doing fighting dudes in the cage on my Saturdays in my underwear? But fuck man, it's worth it. You just want to be vindicated with this. That's why we all do it. That's why we fight. And coming from the amateurs, I did pretty well, but you never know. You're like, am I really a fighter? Am I really that guy? Till you win your first pro fight. Fuck yeah, I belong here. And I'm only 1% better. Only 1%. I only got my strength and conditioning in at full force this time around. And you see the results. Wait till I'm back. Wait till I'm bigger. Wait till I'm stronger. I got problems with this. All we got to do is find some middleweights who can fight. Well, you wanted to know what you're made of, and you're made of some seriously dangerous stuff, Alfred Stoddart. The knees, they were incredible. It looked like a, a, a boxing for fitness class. You were throwing those knees relentlessly in there. Tell me, was that something in the game plan that your team worked? You knew he was going to look for the takedown. Did you, what, did you plan to make him as vicious as they were? Fuck no. I trained with Sean Strickland like three, uh, three days before he fought Adesanya. And he... His whole thing was like, oh, we're going to wrestle, we're going to wrestle, we're going to wrestle. And then he just went there and strike and it was the same thing. Our whole thing was teeps, low kicks, keep him far away from us. And he blissed me and I'm like, damn, this dude's big. None of this shit's going to work. I got to swing. And then I stole Nick Capo's game when he fought him and just grabbed tight knees and I was like, fuck it, let me see if I can throw as many of them as I can. One or two will hit the chin. Well, I'd love to see the numbers on him because they were seemingly in the triple digits. But listen... In the final scorecards, unanimous decision. You got two 10-8s on one scorecard, one 10 and another. I mean, your first 10-8, your first professional victory. You gotta be feeling good, you're feeling vindicated. Is there anyone you wanna thank before I let you go? Fuck yes, all my teammates. Ishmael's gonna destroy a man at open fight night. He was one of my main teammates. Sean, from, <laughs> this whole time I thought, I thought he was gonna be way bigger. So I was fine with a 150 kilo power lifter who even when he's pulling back, you see death when his fist flies past you. He took a lot of fucking abuse this camp so we could get ready for him. So when, I, when he was coming at me with the punches, I was like, bro, you're missing 40 kilos. You're not going to scare me yet. Well, it paid dividends. I'm sure they're proud of you, my friend. And I can't wait to see you back here in the professional midway division. Yes. One more thing, like I always say to my teammates, they sacrifice their bodies for me every single time I have a fight. I will do the same for them every single time they have a fight. MMAFT, SBG, SBG raised me. I jumped in this game just because I watched it on TV and I thought oh, maybe I'll jump in and have a few things here. And Ben Powell took me under his wing and told me exactly what to do. And he's major task manager. If my jab is wrong and my hands down, it doesn't matter if I knock a guy out with it. He's going to be on my ass for weeks. I'll be back in the gym this week putting in work because my teammates are fighting. And I'll be back in the gym at MMAFT as well because my teammates are fighting there as well. I'm doing it for them, I'm doing it for me, I'm doing it for my family. Fuck yeah. The future is bright. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the maker, Alfred Stoddard.